First, ocean give me everything. We can see it, we can swim, we can everything, do everything in ocean. Every breath we take comes from the ocean. This amazing blue uh, heart of our world. For me, the ocean means just kind of everything for the planet. Meer zu sein ist was, was einen in erster Linie so ein bisschen erstmal nach innen schauen lässt. Und wenn man unter Wasser ist, ist es still. Also man ist in einer komplett anderen Welt. Every dive is an experience. For me, like the ocean is a lot of mysteries and uh, we never know what we're going to see. Uh, we never know what, uh, what it's going to offer to us. Indonesia is the second largest polluting country of plastics into the ocean in the entire world, but we're by no way means the, the largest consumer of plastics. Waking up every day knowing that in 2050, there's going to be more plastics than fish. That is only used once and then ends up in a landfill where it will disintegrate and live for 400 years, even more, you know. All the plastics created are still here today wenn halt extrem viel Plastik dann von Lands reingewaschen wird, von den Flüssen und ähnliches, ähm, ja, dann ist es tatsächlich ein Meer aus Plastik. Plastik ist ja big problems for us. 
So if uh, so many plastic, the tourists will come here, will influence our income in tourism. So that's why, especially because now there is no seaweed, there is no farmer in Nusa Penida. So all the people in Nusa Penida, 80% looking for money in tourism. So that's why if you work in tourism, it's very important to clean. Plastic for me is uh, like a convenient inconvenience, I would say. It's, it makes all our life really easy, uh, but we don't know what to do with it. Ça me touche énormément de voir ce qui se passe. Ça me rend extrêmement triste et j'ai peur pour l'avenir de mes enfants. J'ai peur du monde dans lequel ils vont vivre. Euh, j'ai peur des crises qu'il va y avoir avec justement le fait que les gens ne seront plus capables de se nourrir grâce aux océans parce qu'il n'y aura plus de poissons. Euh, donc ce qui me motive, c'est de laisser à mes enfants un monde meilleur, un monde où ils peuvent se nourrir, boire de l'eau saine, être en sécurité. Traveling culture is moving more from like a backpacker paradise to a lot more upscale uh, hotels and boutique resorts. Even the culture here is becoming a little bit more consumer based and wasteful. So I think in that sense, then, yeah, we're needed more than ever to kind of carry on screaming about how much rubbish we're creating, even just on a tiny island. Not every tourist is eco-bewusst, yeah? Also, auch viele von denen werfen halt Sachen weg und das machen Touristen auch überall genauso wie Locals. Also von daher würde ich nicht sagen, es sind die einen oder die anderen. Die Gründe spielen zusammen. It's it's not normal. I mean, we, we can't we can't continue to 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 be blind and, uh, and close our eyes. Um, I, I feel sad for 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 the animals. That that make me like yeah disappointed. More than angry. The fact that on the island there lacks infrastructure. We don't have waste management. As a result, they burn the trash um, at the back of their house, but they also throw it out. Länder wie hier oder auf der Insel traditionell hat man halt hier, sag mal, Sachen in natürlichen Produkten hergestellt, verpackt, Essen irgendwie ähnlich gehabt. Das heißt, es war okay, wenn ich irgendwas beiseite, irgendwie, wenn ich einfach irgendwas wegschmeiße und es verrottet. Marine pollution and the importance of raising awareness with uh, plastics in the ocean. Um, this is a really big thing close to my heart just because throughout the years of scuba diving here we're finding more and more rubbish um, on our dive sites. We're having to recover more fishing nets um, and we're finding more and more animals um, that are endangered by plastic pollution. How I serve the nature, so I should take care about the rubbish, the plastic and everything. If I see, I will take it and I'll put it. Because when it fly to the ocean, it means that we hurt the ocean. Every Friday, we clean up the beach. Now our volunteers do a lot more each day as well, but every Friday we actually try to sit down and quantify how much rubbish we're finding in one single hour. Damit vermeiden wir letztendlich, dass das 
wenn man später hin ins Meer gespült wird, weil am Land kann man es recht einfach einsammeln. Das heißt, aktuell geht der Müll tatsächlich zu einer Mülldeponie hier auf der Insel. Manchmal sind wir an einer Stelle und man findet nur ganz viele kleine Schnipseldinge. Und dann sammelt man halt ewig für kleine Sachen. Man muss halt viel greifen, hat aber nicht viel Gewicht. Also von daher, Gewicht gibt eine Indikation, heißt aber nicht zwingend, wie viel Arbeit das war. Was wichtig ist, weil ich merke, dass wir halt tatsächlich auch in der Ecke regelmäßig sind, weil wenn der Plastik halt lange da liegt, dann merkt man, dass man halt nicht mehr einsammeln kann. Man berührt ihn und sagt, zerbröselt nur. Die Motivation ist da. Manchmal ist es halt auch schwierig. Ja? Also wenn man ähm, eine Ecke gerade irgendwie gesäubert hat und zwei Tage spät war, fährt man vorbei und dann ist irgendwie wieder alles voll mit irgendwie Plastiktüten oder ähnlichem. Aber am Ende ist es gut und fühlt sich gut danach. We are really thinking about what to do and how can we, can we push the people. Please buy your reusable bottle and don't bring plastic on the island. Uh, but it's still a lot of work. We are beginning now to recycle our own, uh, our own waste, but uh, we still need to wait for the recycle plant. There is people on the island who are doing plastic recycling, but it still takes some time. So, so yes, we are doing what we can. We, we try to push as well um, our local partners not to use plastic and uh, sometimes I get a bit pissed off when my staff they, they buy plastic bags but, but yeah I mean you need to go soft and, uh, and you need to make them understand they know that, uh, that, they are, that it is important it's just that habits are very difficult to change. It's very hard to not get really angry when I see people throwing rubbish. So instead of going over to somebody and being very angry, which I have done in the past and it's got me nowhere and it's got that person nowhere. But I realize now it's more if we see people is to actually tell them why it's a problem, not just saying don't do that or pick it up. You have to say why afterwards. Nous on fait beaucoup de nettoyage de plage et c'est une bonne façon de faire de l'éducation, de la sensibilisation. Donc plus on fait du nettoyage, il faut retirer ce qui est in education, it's easy to do it because in education, it's easy to understand what we want. If I, I say with the student, it means that the student will say with the parents. So that's why this is the small thing, but very important, I think. Because if I say in the general, it is very hard. For example, one person wants bottle of the plastic. Can you imagine? I have 100 students here. It means that if all, the, all of them use bottle of plastic, it means that 100 per day in our school. We need to stop our consumption of plastic, which is more important than recycling and collecting all the plastic. Uh, because if, you, if we put so much money into recycling and, uh, and upcycling, there is still somebody producing, so it's, it's not gonna, gonna set up the problem. So there's lots of tiny little ways that every single person can make their little impact, and if you think seven billion people around the world making a tiny little impact, then that, that's gonna go global, and that's gonna be what really helps to save us and our planet. So always uh, try to what, decrease the plastic and then keep clean. Realistic gesehen, wünsche ich mir, dass wir es erstmal zumindest vielleicht ganz stark bremsen können. Wir werden es nicht stoppen und wir werden es nicht irgendwie, wir werden es nicht rückgängig. From next year, January 1st, uh, there's going to be a plastic ban on Bali. So let's see what's going to happen. It's never too late to stop the trash problem. We need the action to be happening right here, right now. So there's an amazing trend of people all around the world stepping up to really be part of the solution. It's like a war, you know, it's the war of plastic.